too. I say, buddy, boom, it's the... Jim. And Dave. Beer review. That's right. Right. We're so glad to see you. We're so glad We're, you joined us tonight for this beer review. Right. We're doing Gal Goliath, Toppling Goliath, Toppling Brewing, Goliath Company. Brewing Company. This is Sue, Sue, Studio Sue. Studio, Pseudo Sue. Pseudo? Pseudo. Are you sure it's Studio? That's Pseudo? Su, su, studio. Pseudo. Guy, I hate that song. <laughs> and I hate everybody who likes it. <laughs> oh, you hate me then. And I like you it. like Dave. No. You don't like that. I don't like it. Anyway. anyway. I can um, feel it coming in here This is a 5.8 ABV. That's like two. It was a 45 IBU. How much IBU? 45 IBU. And ABV? 5.8. David says on the can here that the single hop yeah, ale ale showcases the citra hop for a well-balanced beer mm -hmm. that is delicate in body with a mild bitterness in the finish. Hey. Ferocious hop, ferocious hop aromas of citrus and mango. Huh. Give it a refreshing taste that is bright with just enough bite. Unfiltered beer, sediment is normal. No hey. Brewed in beautiful Decorah, Iowa. How are you drinking that beer? No! <laughs> I left my glass somewhere. That, what, you took it upstairs with you, man. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Did I? Yep. Why did I do that? I don't you know. You wanted to rinse it out. All right, well, you know what? I'm not going to interrupt a beer review because of a lack of glass. He's going to drink it out of the can, people. That's right. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. Okay, the rest is yours, man. Do you want the can or do no, you want No, I that? want the glass. All right. Well, you want to drink my glass? You're not having my glass. That's they have a weird, purple and green dinosaur on there. That's interesting because purple and green is usually the colors of villains in the DC universe. Uh, Lex Luthor has green and purple armor. Uh, the Joker has a purple shirt, uh, excuse me, a purple suit with a green shirt. Um, Parasite, purple skin, green underwear. Kind of weird, he's running around in his underwear. But yeah. Right. Actually, that might even be the co costume in the Marvel Universe, too, because isn't the Green Goblin purple and green? Right. Red and green. Is it red or it's purple? Purple and purple. red. And green. And purple He's and a green orange goblin. and it's blue. Mostly green. I can see a rainbow. What? All right. Well, like I said. Uh, see a rainbow. What? What is the ABV of this? Yeah, rainbow, too. 5.8. Bring up history with five limited. I don't know what that means. Me neither. Top of the Burn Company. They got a little badge on here and whatever. All right. Cheers, buddy. Clank. Colonel Clink. Oh, good. Oh, that's kind of nice. You know, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, you know, it does have a mild bitterness to the finish. They were correct about that. Is it well balanced? Nah, it's it's a hop. It's an IPA, so mm. uh, unfiltered. I wonder what this would taste like if it was filtered. It's a pale ale, so it's not an IPA. A little bitter for a pale ale, but you do expect the pale ale to be more bitter, obviously, than the lager. Right. Um, nice Juicy hop flavor. or hazy pale ale silver in the 2021 Annual Brewski Awards. Well, maybe it was better fresh. Let's see if it has a Best Buy date on the bottom here. It's tough to see. Uh, package number on March 8th, 2022. So this is the end of June. So that's about three months later. Not too bad. Best Buy July 6th. 2022. Well, right. we're not in July yet. We're at the end of June, so it still should be fresh, although it is obviously at the tail end of that. Uh, this is a fine little beer, Dave. I would drink more than one of these. Right. What? Um, Laugh. Yeah. Nice. Um, 6.24 out of 10. Maybe 6.5. Nah, 6.24. Maybe it's 6. I'm, uh, 6. Yeah. I mean, it's fine, but it's not like Oh my god. It's six. It's like, oh, nice pale ale. It's fine. It's six. This is, uh, I'd buy a mixed pack with this in it. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Maybe we'd buy that for a dollar. So there you have it. Six out of ten from Dave, six point two five out of ten from Jim. Right. With two M's. Thank you very much. He likes to think he's somebody when he says it's an M. No, it's just that well, I'm German. I like unnecessary letters. Uh, I'm also mm, good, just like Campbell's soup used to say they uh, there were. There we go. Of course, you know, it's four letters in Jim, so I there like even numbers too. Here we go. Here we go. Into the wild blue yard. Here we Jim. go. Good stuff. <coughs> right. So anyway, like I was saying, Dave, 6 out of 10 for you, 6.25 out of 10 for me, a perfectly good sure. pale ale. 
Yes. Higher in the pale ale category. This might be a seven and a half in the pale ale category. So we just going to fair. Well, you know, personal six point two five at a time for me. Whoopsie. And we're like that by saying that women who are pregnant should not drink alcoholic beverages due to the risk of birth defects. You should not operate heavy machinery, drive a right. vehicle if you're under the influence of alcohol. And of course, excessive drinking can cause health problems. Right. And the reason we do all these different beer reviews, we believe that you, our viewers, should drink great beers. And have a good laugh to your friends. We love you. Be our friends. Subscribe to our channel. Give us thumbs up, thumbs down. Comment below. We'll see you next time on the Jim and Dave right. Beer Review. I love you. <laughs>